gonna lie, it does make a bit of a mess. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Cress KG760. This is the 60 volt, 51 centimeter self-propelled lawnmower. So we're gonna start off by going through its basic features, then looking at how well it actually cuts the grass on a fairly fine lawn. Then we're gonna go and have a look at more of a power test, see how well it can do those overgrown areas. We'll then look at it on some slightly rougher lawns, how well it mulches and how well it can really tidy those areas up, how well this would work in sort of a professional commercial environment. Finally, we'll go and take it apart and look at its build quality. So let's get started. So this mower runs off of the 60 volt batteries. It comes with the 60 volt max ones if you buy it in a bundle, but it also can run off of the commercial batteries, which is important if you're looking at using it in a professional environment. It holds two batteries, but only runs off of the battery at the front. The other one is just in there as a spare, so you can switch them around if you're a little bit further away from the house and you don't wanna go and put it on charge straight away. The height adjustment on this mower is almost effortless has seven different height set points going all the way down to 20 millimeters. But some people say it doesn't quite go down far enough. To change it from bagging to mulching is just as easy as sliding this switch over on the side. And then on the side here is just where your side discharge goes in. You lift this up, pop it in underneath, fold it down, and you're in business. This lawn here already gets maintained by a robot. So we're more looking at how well it actually collects the grass and what the cut quality looks like out the back of this mower. So we have now done a couple of passes up and down with the mower with the bag on and it, I will say it isn't really leaving anything behind. There are one or two little bits of grass which are sticking up a little bit taller than the rest but in terms of collection it is really hoovering everything up off of the ground. So in terms of the overall maneuverability of this mower it isn't the lightest mower I've ever used but it also isn't the heaviest. Now, being 51 centimeters, you are going to have some issues when you come to trying to cut behind trees, and that sort of thing, but that is the trade-off you have, having a larger deck where you can cut large areas more quickly. Now, the one downside to this mower is that if you use the self-propel for this sort of thing, which I don't tend to anyway, you do find that you do have to not drive into something because the wheels lock when you pull back. So you do have to have a little tiniest bit of space to go forwards when you let go of that handle. But other than that, it really gets into these areas nicely. Okay, so we've finished bagging this half of the lawn. So we're just gonna switch this over to mulching. So to do that, you just have to slide this lever over from bag to mulch. It's, it's honestly one of the simplest mowers there is to change to mulching. So let's just take the bag off the back. We did collect quite a bit from that one half of the lawn. This lawn here, we reseeded this year, so the grass in here is really growing very nicely. So we've just mulched this half of the lawn. What you will see is where we've got our new lay from this year, it is leaving a little bit behind. We have only done this once, so we would recommend doing it twice and we'll show you what it looks like after going over it a second time in a moment. But over here, we've got slightly older grass where there isn't quite as much, it isn't quite as dense. You really can't see anything left on the lawn at all. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over this a second time so we can show you what it looks like once it's been done properly. So where I have cut over it the second time does look much better. You can barely see 
any of the grass at all, except for in a few spots where it has kind of clumped together. And if we look at the grass actually from the bag, and if we look at a handful of grass from where it's bagged versus uh, what I can find from where it is mulched, you can really see a massive difference. This here is just gonna fall down in between the grass blades and uh, rot down quite nicely and fertilize the lawn. As this here has, you know, just been sliced off and chucked in the bag and he's gonna have to go into a compost heap to become fertilizer. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to my brother's house. It's got a slightly rougher lawn, a little bit more grass there than we have here. We're gonna be looking at sort of how this mower would work sort of more of a commercial environment and also how the side discharge works. Now, when it comes to using this mower as a commercial tool, there are a few benefits and a few downsides. So firstly, it has a lot of power, mulches really well and bags superbly. The fact that it also runs on the Crest Cyber batteries means that you can charge the battery within eight minutes off of the Cyber tank or 12 minutes off of the Cyber light so you have that in-field charging. So the downsides are it has a chip controlled computer so you can't max the blade out and keep a consistent cut across the whole lawn. Now this mower only has a one year commercial warranty as opposed to their commercial line of mowers which have five year warranty. For a domestic user, it would have two years of warranty plus an extra three if you have it serviced every year, so effectively a five-year warranty. Also, the side discharge on this mower is just a little bit too small. So although it has a lot of power, which we'll show you in just a second, the side discharge sort of lets it down if it's slightly damp and it does block. So let's have a look at how much power this mower really has. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving this mower a proper power test. Now this section at the end is quite well overgrown. Normally we just sort of strim this down and that would be the end of it. But since we have this mower and we're testing it, doing a proper review, we thought we might as well see what this mower really can do. Now this here is a little bit extreme to use the side discharge or to bag. So what we have done is we've just propped the back up, which, uh, would definitely not recommend. We're just gonna let the self propeller actually pull it through because it will automatically adjust the speed of the drive for what it's actually cutting through. So let's see how this goes. I'm not gonna lie. It does make a bit of a mess, but for a mower that is not a rough cut mower, this is insane. Now I'm not gonna recommend for a moment that you do do this, but it is quite impressive to know that if you needed to, you could. Now this mower is IPX4 rated, which does make it really easy for washing. And because there are no oils or petrol in here, you can just tilt it up like that, which is also how you store this in your shed, or you could even fit it into a cupboard in the house if you really wanted to. Again, no petrols, no oils. But you can easily tilt it up like that and just use your hose pipe to wash the bottom. Which does make it a lot easier for you to keep your mower clean. which does make it a lot easier to keep your mower clean and prevent the buildup of rust. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hand it over to Michael in the workshop where he's gonna actually take this apart, really look at the build quality and how serviceable this machine is. Okay, so Cornelius has taken this out and tried it out in the field and hopefully you've enjoyed the video so far. I am now going to take it apart, look at the build quality, 
and see what makes this thing tick. So this is the 51 centimeter, which comes with a metal deck, which makes it a little bit heavier, but a bit more solid. Um, this one has the mulching and side discharge switch just on the side there. So we'll see what that looks like underneath as well. Um, so let's start with the top cover. Um, this cover does have a bit of movement into it, um, but it doesn't feel flimsy or that it's going to break as soon as you start moving about. It still feels solid. And so do the switches inside. There's like barely any movement and they feel really good, especially once you've got a battery in there. So let's take this top cover off and have a look at the motor. Okay, so now this top cover can come off and shows us all the juicy stuff inside. Well, it doesn't yet. Um, so here we've just got the two clips uh, that hold the battery in and let's dive in deeper. Okay, so under here we have uh, where the motor is and we can see where grass can get stuck because we've been using this machine as a demo machine and as our like trial. We've been putting it through some really heavy work and you can see where the grass could potentially get stuck back here. But you'll see that none of it has made it to the actual motor. It's all been kept behind this sort of seal here. So none of it has gotten to the motor. It's a brushless motor, metal, very nice construction there. And we have the motherboard in the top head and that is like sealed in silicon, so it is water resistant. So uh, yeah, that's the motor. Let's put this back together and have a look underneath. So under here, we can see we have a metal blade with a metal nut, and we've got an extra fan there to help with the collection and side discharge. One thing to note on this machine, the side discharge isn't actually the best. This hole's a little bit small, um, so that is one downside with this machine, but other than that, it's absolutely gorgeous. Got a massive chute on the back there, and when you switch from collecting to mulching, there's a metal plate that slides out and covers that hole completely. Down here we have a separate motor that drives the wheels, which means there's less to go wrong because you don't have a belt and also you can have variable speed. So that's pretty much everything under here. What we're going to do next is take off one rear wheel and one front wheel. So we'll start with the front wheel and pop this out and off and have a look inside. So in here we have metal sealed bearings on both sides. They're not bushings, they have proper bearings. Okay, so we've got the back wheel off and what we have here are two rubber sealed bearings. These are absolutely gorgeous. And we also have a metal cog on the wheel itself and a metal cog on the mower. So let's have a look at how the free wheel mechanism works. So how this free wheel system here works is when the drive is engaged, this plastic bit at the back moves forward and engages with this metal cog. So if Cornelius, you turn that on. Okay, so if you let go, Connor, you can see how the plastic cog has come forward and engaged with the metal cog. Now, what that does mean though, is when you stop moving, if you try and go backwards immediately, you'll see that the cog doesn't turn. So if you turn the drive off and stay stationary, it won't go backwards immediately. You just have to go forwards a tiny amount and then it will allow the free wheel to work. So that's another thing. If you like drive into a fence and you've left your drive on and then you turn your drive off and try and go backwards, the free wheel system will still be engaged um, and you just need to go forwards a tiny bit. So you can just lift the back wheels up, back a tiny bit forwards and then you can carry on. I really like this feature for when uh, we're mowing on hills because when we mow up and then turn the drive off, 
the mower doesn't come straight back down onto us. It holds it on the hill, which I find really nice. And then you just go forward a tiny bit um, and it just allows you to go backwards. Overall, this is a powerful, really nice to use machine. Sort of only downsides are the, is the side discharge. This machine will work with the domestic and the commercial batteries. Uh, the warranty is really good for domestic use. It's got two years plus three years if you have it serviced every year. So the current price for this machine is only 700 pounds with a battery and charger at current prices. And additionally, Crest are offering a free battery with it. So you'd get two batteries, a charger and the machine for 700 pounds. So if you want more information on this machine, be sure to click the link below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. 